Willie. How's it going? I'm cool, good. How are you? Congratu I congratulations, <laughs> roller coaster. Well, just try and sum up what the last hour's been like. Perfectly, you put it perfect, <laughs> roller coaster. I have cotton mouth here speaking to you now this minute. <laughs> have you heard cotton mouth? Well, that's what I got. I got a dry mouth. <laughs> I had. I was pretty nervous there towards the end. Um, you know, I missed a couple of darts there to win it. And I, oh man, you know, he came back at me and playing away in my head a little bit. And uh, let, I let it get to me. You know, I let it get to me. You know, um, but look, I, I got there in the end. I'm really happy to be to be in the next round now. Did you take your foot off the gas a little bit? Did you think the job was done at two now? I did, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I, I just thought to myself, it's going easy. You know, they're flowing easy, all good. I can step it up a gear if I really need to. Is the way I felt. But uh, you know, you, you can't feel like that. You, you have to feel like you know you're under you're under pressure all the time. Otherwise, that happens. You know, and they come back at you. Especially Danny, like Danny's a super player. I, I didn't know Danny before today. He, he's, I mean, I did, he, he played really, really well there, and you know, he's a good guy as well. So it, it's unfortunate for Danny, but I'm really happy to get the win. In that spell that you took your foot off the gas, did you get sucked into his pace a little bit as well? Because we saw you like almost trying to not slow him down, but just get back to your normal rhythm. Because you seem to get embroiled in his game. I did. You're 100. percent Yeah, you're right. I did. I. I, I but like that, I, like I said, I just thought it was a formality. I just thought it was like, you know, get out there, throw the darts, get it done, get it backstage, celebrate with the boys and head home and get back for the next one. You know, a silly, silly mistake that I won't, I won't ever make again. From what you said there, are you going home in between games? Yeah. Is that a, a calculated risk or is it something you need to, to do with everything that's going on in the world at the moment? Uh, it's something I need to do with, with everything that's in the world at the moment. Um, you know, I'm getting home, I have to look, I, I'm not leaving my house at home. I'd so, I'm going to stay in a hotel every single day, now until the next game, staring at the four walls. Yeah. I'd sooner be home staring at four, just staring at four <laughs> kids. I've only got two kids. <laughs> my, my two kids and my adult. I'd sooner be staring at them yeah. than staring at the four walls of a hotel. So I, I feel better that way, my head would be in a better place, so that's what I need to do. Next round, Glenn, someone that's struggled of late. Do you approach the game with this, the same mentality and approach it as Glenn as the ex Premier League champion, or do you just approach it as a normal game? I don't appre I, I don't approach a game like I'm playing Glenn, or right, like I'm playing Danny, or I'm playing Michael Van Gerwen. I, I approach a game like I'm playing a game. So I need to be the best version of me. So the way I approach a game is, if I play my darts, I'm able to shout. If I don't play my darts, I'm going to lose. So I have to be my best version. Forget about what I'm doing or who I'm playing. I have to play my darts. What the other, what my opponent does is irrelevant to what I do. So that's that's the way I see it. Glenn is, yes, I'm playing Glenn in one way, but another way, I just have to go play darts. I just got to play darts, and you know the best player to win in the day. Last few tournaments, you seem to really be enjoying it. You see the power scoring back from your players' championships, some good performances in big retired in particular. First two sets here, averaging 104. You seem in a real good place within yourself right now. Yeah, really happy, you know, really happy, like, uh, you know, everything good at home, everything be good here. That's the way it works, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, practice is going good and I'm not overdoing it. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself, which I was for a long time. I'm just letting the flow, letting it happen. Uh, so, just got to let that happen. Just let it go. Just let it, and just focus on me, you know, not, not focus on just getting it over with or playing Danny or playing Glenn. If I just focus on playing darts, I'm sure I'll do okay. Willie, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. Congrats, Willie. Um, Danny Lawby, obviously somebody who's not on the, the tour at the moment, but I'm sure we'll see him plenty in the future. How much did you know about him going into this? I didn't know a lot about him, uh, but I did do a lot of looking into him. I looked into his, a lot of his games. I knew he was really consistent. I knew he was, he was, a, he was a decent scorer. I didn't know he could score like that. He, he played really well tonight. Um, I was, To be fair, I was probably expecting a high 80s average, you mm -hmm. know, uh, but... Fair man, he played. He played really, really well. He played, played so good. He was comfortable up there. He looked, you know, he looked like he deserved to be there. And uh, look, I hope Danny gets his tour card because he's a really good guy. Yeah. Can anything prepare you for playing a player that's that's quick, that's that quick? There's not many on the tour that can match his sort of pace, is there? Yeah, well, it's up to yourself to be prepared for it. <laughs> I mean, you got to be prepared for him, for him as well as you got to be prepared for the slowest player on the tour. I mean, it's up to yourself. It's a mindset. It's nothing else. So. Mm -hmm. If you're not prepared for it, it's your own fault. Yeah. When you look towards the next round, obviously Glenn Durrant in the third round on the 22nd, do you look at that as a as a favourable draw? Or? I just look at it as a draw. It's another player in front of me. 
uh, you know, I got to win it. Simple as that. That's the way I see it. I, I need to win. I want to win. Uh, he's in my way, so I have to. I have to push through him. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, Right. Um, obviously, going to the next round, you're going to go there. You've, you've had the experience on stage already. You've won a game. Which a lot of belief in that. You've come through a real battle. Does that put you in better stead to go into that match than Glenn? Perhaps coming here cold. I definitely believe so. Yeah. I. I do believe so. Only, only because I came through it. If I hadn't come through it, you know what I mean? It would probably knock me back. But, you know, I, I have had the ups and the downs now. The, I've had a little bit of, uh, you know, the adrenaline, the drops, the ups and the downs. I've had a little bit of a bit of a go now. And I'm kind of in the tournament where Glenn is coming in a little bit, a bit cold and not quite sure what, what, what he's coming into. Other than that, look, it's, it's, just, it's just darts. You know, at the end of the day, the best player on the day is going to win. And that's it. It's good to see you smiling here today because I think last year you had an awful end to your match, didn't you? And I, oh. don't, I don't want to remind you oh. of that. No, that was two years ago. Was it two years ago? Yeah, yeah. thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah. So it's good to be smiling again on this, on, in this. I'll program. always smile. I still smile at that. I didn't, know, I didn't even know what happened. <laughs> so I'll smile. I don't mind. Good stuff. Listen, thank it you is what it is. Thanks for it. Cheers.